Hey there again, Social Studies 30-1, taking a look at our second source. Uh, our theme of the week is, of course, the Cold War. And I guess if you wanted to get specific, the Marshall Plan. So today is a cartoon. This one is actually right out of your textbook. I like it. It's very effective um, for, for a bunch of reasons. I'll give you a few seconds to examine the cartoon, and then we'll take it apart. All right, probably probably enough time to to do some thinking. So, uh, where would you start? Well, my, when I, when I first saw the cartoon, my eyes of course focused on the guy in the middle that that has Europe on his shirt. Um, so my first you know thinking went around that person climbing up a cliff, and of course he's using a rope. Rope is tied to a tree at the top of the cliff. And you need to understand that he represents Europe. I think to be specific, it's going to be Western Europe, um, given what's going on in the background. And then on the rope, it says Marshall Plan. So you're left thinking that he is climbing, he's pulling himself up from, from chaos and ruin by using the Marshall Plan. You know, America is saving him. America is saving Western Europe from something via the Marshall Plan. The fact that he's climbing up means they're saving him from something that is very undesirable, something that is very bad. And let's get into that. If you look in the background, like you may not know this, but in the background, um, these pointy towers are actually St. Basil's Cathedral which is found in Moscow, St. Basil's Cathedral. You don't need to know this. It was constructed back in the 1500s, um, commissioned by uh, the Russian Tsar of the time, Ivan the Terrible. So those onion-shaped towers are St. Basil's Cathedral. They're very unique to, to Moscow, Russia, and the Soviet Union at that time. The story goes that, that Ivan the Terrible actually had the architect blinded so he could never repeat that architectural feat. Now, who knows if it's true or not? Um, it could very well be true, knowing Ivan the Terrible and the things he did. I guess that's quite possible. Anyway, a bit of a sidebar. So the threat based on the, the pearl-shaped towers, the onion-shaped towers, is communism, is the Soviet Union, um, Stalin taking over Europe. And so, you know, what you're left thinking is if it were not for the Marshall Plan rope, if not for America, you know, this guy would not have been able to save himself from a communist takeover, from a communist revolution. And so it may not be the Soviets directly taking over Western Europe, but what it could mean is that without American help, without Marshall Plan money, um, those economies would not have recovered from, from the chaos of World War II, and they would have had their own communist revolutions, and likely at some point fallen under Stalin's sphere of influence later on. Take a look at the choice of color. I think that's important. Um, you can see that the, the atmosphere in the background that this guy's pulling himself up from, um, the colors are dark, they're earthy, they're ominous, they're threatening. So we almost get St. Basil's Cathedral as a monster on the horizon that is coming to, to take over um, Eastern Europe for sure, but also Western Europe too. Um, and I like how they, they imposed the cathedral just to, you know, it obviously represents religion, a cathedral, a religious cathedral. But, but moreover, it shows, you know, the loss of purity, the loss of Western European innocent, you know, in light of the looming communist threat, the communist takeover. As you may remember from Chapter 5, religion is forbidden in a communist society. Religion is not allowed. Uh, you got to practice atheism. So I, I like how they put the, the church on there to show um, the loss of religion, the loss of, of European civilization in light of this, this ominous communist threat. Other buildings, you know, here's a factory, some houses and so on, just to show you, you know, the, 
the takeover of communism, the takeover of the Soviet Union. And this guy's probably thinking, thank God for the Marshall Plan in America. And I would give a bit of the detail behind the Marshall Plan. I would talk about, you know, the fact that it was $13 billion, 17 countries got it. You might name some of the countries. You might talk about how France was saved by the Marshall Plan. West Germany was saved by the Marshall Plan. And then maybe allude to some of the countries that were taken over by communism, Poland, Czechoslovakia, and so on. Not all of them, but enough to show that you know what you're talking about. And then I think think you've probably done enough in terms of the interpretation. Um, likely America tied the Marshall Plan a rope to the tree. America could even be the tree. You know, if we were to imagine something beyond this, it's probably a tree or a post that would represent America saving Europe from communism. In terms of links, well, I see, um, you know, the artist clearly is, is depicting the Marshall Plan in a positive light. You know, America seen as a savior. And so the person that drew the cartoon is advocating for liberalism. He's advocating for rights and freedoms, which of course you don't get under a communist dictatorship. He's advocating for self-interest and economic freedom. He's advocating for capitalism, um, things that you don't get under a communist regime. And that's probably as far as I take that interpretation. I've always liked that one. Good job with that.